These were my husband's. My husband was a guardian on this flight, and these were his his little uh, veterans. And they just locked arms, walked around all day together. They were so cute. One has passed away, but the other one's still still going. He lives in Harrisburg. I probably has better health than me. <laughs> so um, it's just it's a wonderful experience. Our mission is to send veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials, and those veterans are first priority World War II veterans. World War II, because that's how our mission started off in 2009, it was to send World War II veterans. Sadly, we don't have as many World War II veterans today as we did then. Uh, just mathematically, we're just losing this living history uh, day in and day out. So um, mostly our flights are made up of, uh, of Korean War veterans and Vietnam veterans. And as we know, Vietnam veterans are the ones who have, have been uh, needing an out-of-flight experience of their own uh, for so long and have needed this journey of healing. And so uh, we're so happy that we're able to provide that to Vietnam veterans. Right now, Korean War veterans um, go and, uh, and it's just a, a blended flight. There's no cost at all for the veterans. It's free to them. This is their honor flight. We try to tell fundraisers that it's about $300 for each veteran to go on the flight. There is no cost for the veterans. They try to pay, but we tell them they're, they are not going to pay. They've already paid that price. They already wrote that check years ago when they, when they put their uniform on and served our country. There's no cost to them. We have, we have veterans from Vietnam who tell us that when they got off the plane, one of them tells us he kissed the ground, he stood back up, and he got spit on in the face. That's their welcome that they received. So when they come back and they get off those three buses and the crowds are cheering and the flags are waving and um, They've just been escorted in by 300 or so motorcycles. Um, they've had I-70 shut down from Kingdom City to Columbia. They've had nothing but just, they've owned that road. Just to be there to welcome them home means the world to them and it does change their lives. And in it, it becomes your honor flight experience then. <laughs> 